in this section I am gonna be going over the live preview I am gonna be skipping alarm preview since I do not have a camera or MVR set for alarms so I just I'm just gonna be going over on how to set live previews and live custom layouts so if I want to do a live preview I can either click on custom on control panel and go to live preview or I can click on this plus sign right here and get my view grid now if I have more cameras and I need to add a different layout I could always click here or click on this drop arrow and go up to a hundred channels for this example I'm just gonna do four channels and now that I have my layout now right here on the left hand side under root I can either left click and hold and select individual cameras and drop uh, drag and drop on the on the camera spots where I want them or I could take the entire root folder drop it and it's gonna load all my cameras but again for this example I'm just gonna be doing uh, four cameras and once you have your display to save this group what you want to do is you want to click here under your live preview you want to close this tab it's going to ask you if you want to save the view you say yes um, I'm going to name mine Vitek DVR and click OK so now to view this if I go to control panel and go to live preview or if I click on this tab it's just going to give me a default tab now to view my layout what I want to do is I want to click up here to view go to live preview and from here I could select my Vitek DVR and here is my view now from here I can also rearrange my cameras by left clicking and holding and dragging them to however I want once I click close it's gonna save that last view I'm gonna go back and it did to prevent this from happening especially if you have created a custom view for a customer what you want to do is you want to go to control panel you want to go to the edit live preview settings and uncheck auto save live preview layout I'm gonna uncheck it click OK now if I go to the Vitek DVR view and I move cameras around when I close this it's gonna ask me if I want to save this view if I say yes it's gonna save it if I say no it should keep my original view which the car was up here and it did this is a good feature especially if you have created a special view and you don't want anyone to move the cameras around or if someone accidentally deletes or closes one of these cameras they could always close this and say no and when you go back it's gonna be the it's gonna have the original layout so this prevents cameras from being accidentally moved or deleted so again you want to go to a control panel you want to go to your edit live preview and you want to have the auto save uncheck to prevent this now let's say I have five cameras and I want to do a special view so my options are four nine or eight so now I'm gonna create a custom layout for a five channel for my system for the transcendent VMS so what you want to do is go to control panel and go to live preview custom layout and I already created one but let me delete this one and let me click on you're gonna click on add and when you click on add it's already it's gonna bring up the default 100 channel view grid but what you want to do is you want to left click hold and start making your layout so I'm gonna do this leg release and click combine so that becomes my channel one left click hold drag over release combine channel two three So there's my five channel view and you can do any any view uh, from the 100 view grid I mean you could do anything from from that point so let me name it five view 
and click save and uh, just what I mean by this is uh, if I add another I mean you can do just crazy views if you wanted to do this so it's gonna do it this way when you load the cameras it's gonna show them on this this type of display however you design it I'm gonna cancel this so I have my five channel view now if I want to view it what you want to do is go you want to go to uh, control panel either click on live preview or click on this plus sign then you're gonna click on this drop arrow here and this is gonna be your five channel display or your custom display so now I'm gonna drag over my cameras left click hold drag and drop and there's my five channel view I'm gonna go ahead and save this by clicking on this uh, close I want to say yes and I'm gonna name it five view click OK so now to view them I could click uh, up here under view go to live preview select your five view grid and I'm gonna select also my Vitek DVR so here they are so now if you have multiple monitors you could actually split the sheets or the views by left clicking and dragging out so now I have my uh, different sheet or my different view and I could move it to my other other monitor so now I could display two different views at once to bring it all back together you want to click on this and you want to go to tab view and it's going to uh, load it back under the original state uh, now if you do a view and you want to change the name of it or you want to delete it you no longer want this view to delete them you want to go to view organize view and from here I could either rename it or delete that custom view or views so I don't want the five channel view anymore I could delete this say yes and it's gone so now I have to create another view if I wanted to do it again but that's how so under view organize view is where you would delete or rename uh, or add a view and under control panel and live preview custom layouts it's where you would create custom views um, so this is how this is what you would do on the transcendent VMS for PC thank you